Uh, hello everyone and thanks for listening to this video. Myself, Dr. Naeem Ahmed and my colleague, Dr. Ayam Ahmash, working in Department of Information Systems in Khalid University, uh, have worked on this uh, topic of a smart ISIB, uh, its implementation, meaning development of software and um, uh, assessment of uh, interpretive structural modeling uh, using a smart ISIM in the existing studies. Uh, through scoping review. Um, these are some of the highlights of this paper. Um, first, of course, this paper is uh, has um, proposed uh, um, the development of the software Smart ISM and some uh, special algorithms like reduced conical metrics has been introduced and. Um, it has been observed uh, in the scoping review that uh, even though generalized transitivity have been the basic assumption, but most studies have not incorporated it. And ISM is being applied in many areas as mentioned here, where sustainability um, takes the lead in other areas. Maximum studies are uh, in sustainability area. And um, this sc scoping review had shown that uh, and the number of variables being considered, uh, being uh, studied have varied from uh, 5 to 32. And a number of decision makers have also varied from 120. Uh, Warfield uh, introduced this technique in 1970s. Uh, and um, it helped in representing partial, fragmented, and distributed knowledge into integrated, interactive, and actionable knowledge. Uh, the search and scopus uh, with interpretive structural modeling had yielded uh, 5,184 documents. And uh, there is an exponential growth from 2007 to 2021. With around 36% uh, contribution in articles from India, um, India is leading and uh, followed by China, USA, UK, and Iran. And together, these five countries contribute around 71% of total articles. And this technique, as we said previously, also is being applied in many areas. Okay. Uh, in, the, in the literature review, uh, we would like to first um, uh, summarize ISM and MAC technique as it is uh, mentioned in. Um, numerous uh, articles. So there are uh, eight steps here, uh, which are mentioned here, and we'll go one by one in each step. Uh, the first two steps actually uh, deal uh, like elements or constructs, uh, deal with identification of elements and decision makers. So they actually, they are more. Uh, they they are done through by the research team and uh, uh, through uh, different means such as literature review or for elements identification literature review or many other techniques and uh, similarly uh, decision uh, researchers also identify the experts for decisions for their inputs on um, SSIM which is uh, the next step. SSIM, which is structural self-interaction metrics, wherein uh, the variables are prioritized compared for any of the following relations, and uh, the symbols V, A, X, O are assigned. Uh, in the next step, uh, RM, which is reachability metrics, is calculated based on the following rules, and um, final reachability metrics is computed, which is uh, which incorporates uh, transitivity. And for that, a uh, virtual algorithm can be used. Label partitioning, this is a slightly uh, lengthy function, wherein uh, high, uh, and it is of high complexity, wherein of, for each variable, two sets are identified. Uh, one is reachability, and the other one is antecedent set. And then the interaction between the two is calculated. If the interaction and reachability happens to be the same for any of the variable, then those variables are assigned uh, first level in the first iteration and they're removed 
from the next iteration. And the process repeats until all the elements are assigned a level. Then you have met a conical matrix, um, which is uh, um, horizontally and vertically sorted uh, form of FRM, uh, which helps in uh, making digraph. And the final ISM model, uh, model tries to remove as much as edge as possible from uh, the digraph without affecting uh, reachability or levels of the variables. The MCMAC analysis uh, is almost uh, universally applied along with the ISM. It classifies variables into four sets, independent, dependent, which are uh, more, more desirable variables in, uh, in the uh, study. Linkage are very unstable variables, uh, whereas autonomous are weak variables, which has uh, very less relationship with the um, model. Continuing on literature review, uh, uh, there are uh, for the implementation of ISM or automation of ISM. Um, the there are um, studies that have automated transitivity calculations for FRM and uh, partitioning step using R software or MATLAB. But, it's, uh, but uh, the end-to-end -end implementation is missing. Similarly, uh, the previous reviews for, uh, in the area of ISM have focused on areas of applications of ISM and some other parameters such as integration with other MCDM techniques and some others as well. But still there exists a gap to identify uh, the methodology of steps of application of ISM in existing articles such as composition of DMs, decision making and data collection techniques, nature and number of variables and accuracy of ISM results. Um, next is research methodology as we have two objectives here, development of a smart ISM uh, and the second one is scoping review um, on existing studies to study the variations using smart ISM. Uh, for a scoping review, uh, for de uh, the development of a smart ISM will be shown in the next section. Um, here uh, the scoping review, for a scoping review we have used a five-step framework of Denny and chant field uh, and each step uh, is mentioned like here uh, for in the second step uh, for locating studies uh, we identified 300 articles up to, up to middle of the year of 2021 from science direct database using the keyword interpretive structural modeling and partition um, and then uh, we use partitioning because uh, that gives us more uh, illustration of ISM in the article. Uh, or, or you can say the clear uh, pr uh, procedure or steps being followed for implementation of ISM because partitioning is one of the um, integral part of it. Uh, out of these 300, we selected 77 uh, based on the, the illustration of uh, required process in there. Uh, then after that, uh, step four is analysis and synthesis. So we extracted all the required uh, parameters uh, from the articles and put, and also uh, re reproduce the results of ISM using smart ISM. And these, and, and we report the results in table two and three. For a smart uh, development of smart ISM using Microsoft Excel, we have used uh, eight macros uh, for each uh, step, uh, for, or, or you can say uh, some of the steps require two macros. Uh, so uh, one macro is reachability metrics to convert um, SSIM into binary form. And then uh, we have macro for final reachability metrics, which incorporates the virtual algorithm. And we have two versions here. One is a uh, second level and the other one is generalized. And we tried for first version uh, for second level uh, because that was easy to compare. So if if uh, that was good, good, so we stopped there. If not, then we proceeded for um, 
all all level are generalized in some cases a second order and generalized could be said and then we have level partitioning function which is very lengthy and macro for conical matrix and and uh, macro for drawing the diagraph and it it uses uh, more shape objects like oval and connector and then we had macro for rcm which is reduced conical matrix to remove uh, some edges while ensuring um, the diagram structure and reachability of the variables. And herein uh, we had given also uh, the algorithm of this logic of the algorithm in the um, paper. And then we have some macro which is a final model which is uh, uh, made from reduced conical matrix and macro for making um, the uh, MCMAC model. Uh, here uh, uh, we have uh, more more shape objects in in um, in uh, mid Mac because uh, it it requires main things in there. We can see here, and now um, um, we want to demonstrate the software as well as application of it on one of the study here uh, by Wang et al, which is which came out correct in all the parameters. So uh, let me share the screen for you. Hmm. So um, share application screen here. Would like to share the. Uh, it would be better if you share the entire window. Or let's make it uh, the the first uh, the macro macros I want to demonstrate here. Okay, I hope it's visible now. Mm. Okay, so you can see here all these macros are there as uh, we have made one macro for uh, reachability matrix. And, and this is macro for final reachability matrix. And this is the version of uh, second level. Uh, which is uh, and and we have another version also which is uh, uh, generalized transitivity which is in place and uh, this is level partitioning because this study uh, which we want to share it actually came out uh, correct in um, in uh, in uh, in the uh, in the first first instance for uh, okay and. Uh, Fine. Then we have a uh, level partition. You can see this is slightly long because the many steps are there. Okay. And then finally we have uh, this conical matrix and then digraph. And then uh, this is also very long because you have to make the logic of putting the things up nicely onto small spaces and, and measuring the symmetry and all that. Then we have a uh, macro for reduced conical matrix the logic of which is also already mentioned in the paper. And we have um, here a macro for final model and uh, this macro for uh, MIC, uh, for MCMAC analysis as well. Okay, so these all are the macros. Fine. Let's uh, now uh, show you uh, the window run and next window we would like to share uh, uh, how we have uh, done the studies, uh, reviewed the model. OK, so you can see here for each uh, paper from 1 to 77, we reproduced uh, this Excel sheet. Uh, and in some cases, we have, you can see here, uh, the second order as well as generalized. OK, OK, let me move on to now uh, one application for Wang et al. study. Okay. So I'll share this window here. Uh, okay, fine. So this is uh, the uh, this is the main dashboard here. You can see. Okay, we have all the steps here. Uh, I have also a macro which actually runs all the step together, uh, but we'll go one by one to see how it works. So we have SSIM. This data has been taken from the study of Manitel. Uh, and uh, we have all the symbols here, 
which decision makers define for possible relationship between pair of variables. You can see here A, V, X, O. Uh, then uh, we can go back here and we can see how we can calculate reachability metrics. It is calculating reachability metrics. So we get the reachability metrics and driving power and dependence power. And we have the option you can see here at the top all the steps, but we'll go one by one so for demonstration. Okay, then we have final reachability metrics, which is using Washer algorithm to calculate other transitivities. You can see one stars are coming all the way here. Okay. Then we go for level partitioning. Level partitioning you can see is very long and, and the iterations are going on the right side are copied here in the Excel sheet. And uh, the first uh, matrix is actually copying the results of each iteration. So you can see all the variables are getting um, the uh, levels here. Okay, once it will take some time because this is slightly uh, longer and and for 13 variables, you can see it's taking time. Uh, so, okay, fine. So we have all the levels um, from one to eight and some variables have, uh, some levels have multiple variables. Okay, then we move on to conical matrix here. And this is simply sorted. So you can see here, um, and the, uh, the lower part of it has uh, ones and one stars or zeros and upper um, part is all zeros. Upper diagonal part is all zeros. Okay, then we move on to calculate digraph here. So you can see the digraph is coming. Okay, then we can go on reduce conical matrix. So this is now we can see lots of uh, you know up is, is zeros are there because lots of path from digraph has been removed. Okay, and then we have final model which is coming out and which is almost uh, which is exactly actually the same which is reported in the study. Okay. Then now uh, we have uh, MIGMAC, you can see here, this is the MIGMAC, which is coming automatically here. Okay, so that was the demonstration of the software. And uh, let's move on to our presentation, uh, finish up presentation. Okay, so we were, uh, we discussed, we demonstrated the software and now, um, Finally, we have just the last slide, which is findings. So we can see first, uh, these results are summarized and discussed in the paper. Uh, it is being applied in many areas and sustainability, like sustainability, supply chain, logistics, information technology, energy, human resource, marketing, operations, among many others as well, because we identified 21 different areas. Um, and these are the nature of variables, enablers, drivers, challenges of barriers, critical success factors, strategies, capabilities, and drivers influencing all significant factors, elements in the area of study. And numbers have varied 532, and they have been identified through domain specific literature review and all experts' inputs. Um, and some other techniques have also been used, as mentioned in the paper. And number of DMs have varied decision makers, two to 120. And, and in most cases, it is 10. Okay, and 29 out of 77 studies had correct calculations with a varied transitivity incorporation, such as no transitivity, second order transitivity, or generalized transitivity. As I said previously, also in some cases, second order transitivity could be same as generalized transitivity as well. Um, and wrong transitivity calculation has been the most frequent reason for incorrect ISM results, followed by variations in drawing edges in the final model that, uh, that has affected the reachability of the variables. Okay. Thanks for uh, watching the video. Uh, I hope it will help in understanding of ISM and the application of ISM.